All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in this world. Let's do something different. We're going to have some fun. Um, I'm going to show you guys my home studio. It's a home studio 2021. All right, I'm going to show you how I work in my home studio. I'll show you the gear I use, all that good stuff in my own little small space. So, yeah. So right now I'm out here just chilling near the water. And it's not so hot out here. The heat's not so bad. So let's have some fun and let's dev into my home studio, my little world, and let's knock it out. You dig? All right, what's up, fam? Show you a little bit of my studio. As you can see on the desk in front of us, you see the SSL 2 Plus. And the back of the SSL2 Plus, you will see a lunchbox by API. And you see the mic preamp that I use um, by, um, what's the name of this thing? It's by Great River, kind of like a Nevish preamp that's on the far left. And there is a compressor in the middle, blue and grayish, made by Buzz Audio. And then there's another. Um, 500 series device in the lunchbox. It is a e equalizer. <clears throat> it's, this equalizer is no more in production. It's by S and M. Gives you the tone of the Trident. So I use that sometimes. Um, as we go further to the right, you can see um, in the rack a DBX compressor 160x. You can see in the rack as well an SSL or SSL type uh, VCA comp, bus comp compressor. And at the bottom of that, you can't see it really that well, but it's just the audio interface um, Steinberg, an older model by Steinberg. And you see my Sure mic. Sometimes I do my vocals, uh, recording, podcasting, or um, YouTube videos, whatever on that mic and you can see my personas one fader uh, controller far more to the right you'll see um, my universal audio twin audio interface that's modded by black lion audio okay in the middle you see this little blue thing stereo 96 DAC um, made by my tech it's an older version um, it's a D to A converter, very nice euphonic sound. Uh, my monitors that I use, you can see that those are the personas. Um, uh, under 400 bucks, still get a great mix out of these things, love them. And on the top of the monitors, you would see the IK Media um, satellites. So I use those to also monitor and see how things translate well in the mix this mic here i just got this mic actually it's made by zoom um, the zoom dynamic mic uh, zoom zdm1 nice love it um, i had to add a few things I had to get a cloud lifter to really push the signal so i don't have to drive my audio interface um, input gain and add a lot of noise and stuff to it and just amazing with that cloud lifter uh, far to the left is my mini controller at the bottom um, I use this to you know when I'm producing and you know in producer mode uh, it's uh, 88 keys by M audio hammer weighted keys up top is a um, little synth made by um, Akai um, called it Timberwolf so I usually like make my basses or create basses on this thing so really 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 cool and in the back of the control desk is where I keep it, it actually it used to be a closet so I keep it as a storage um, that's where I keep like my um wires and things and 
boxes on top, things that I just need to store. And I also got some acoustic treatment back there to control um, <clears throat> the reflections back there in the back of the control desk. Here at the bottom, this rack, this is my um, PM8 um, summing amp or summing mixer. And this is what I use sometimes to sum out of the box when I don't want to sum in the box. So I use my PM8 mixer. Um, very cool um, device by Black Lion Audio. I use that hum eliminator along in conjunction with it to control uh, a lot of the hum or the noise in there so to isolate that so it does help out. So that's made by Eptech, so I use that. Don't really use my patch bay anymore. Um, don't really see the need for it anymore right now. Okay, this here is my vocal booth. Uh, it's a portable vocal booth. This is where um, artists come in and track and record and do what they gotta do, you know. So this is the outside portion of it. It's like, um, it fit a good amount of people in the, in the booth, so it's pretty big and inside. We'll go take a look in the inside as well. So that's the outside of the portable vocal booth. Of course, this is the inside of the vocal booth. As you can see the inside, see the windows that's looking on the outside. Uh, let's see if I could scroll some more. As you can see, it's portable and how I put it together with the joints. So, pretty cool, pretty cool vocal booth inside. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, in the studio tour, we're actually going to tour also into my DAW or my iMac and show you what kind of tools I use uh, for music production and mixing and so forth. So let's go ahead and dive into it and let's just take a little tour inside my iMac. All right. So as you see, this is the iMac and... I am going to go in some, into some of the uh, apps, as you can see on my uh, docking station, some of the apps that I use, um, Recycle. Um, I use Luna by um, Universal Audio. I use this other um, DAW called Mixbus 32C. Uh, this actually uh, was created from an, the actual console the Harrison Mix Bus consoles. Um, you probably heard Michael Jackson Thriller that was mixed on it and a couple, many other um, A-list artists that was mixed on this console. So they came up with a DAW that's um, true analog sound. Um, everything's like in-house. There's nothing I need to sum out of. It actually has the... Um, uh, the characteristic of the aesthetics or the topology of that console, the Harrison mix console. So look those up a little and or look that up. You can um, go to Harrison mix bus console site and you can definitely check that out. You want to, and we could definitely check and see what it looks like. I'm just going to just pop it up so I can show you what it looks like. Okay. Let's say I want to do a new session. Just, want to open this up okay um let's put it on a desktop see if that'll open up no 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 we want to don't want to quit we just want to open up a new session okay and then um just test template empty I just want to see where I want to have the folder in, which is the desktop. Just have it on the desktop, so I'm going to delete it anyway. Open. Um, let me set up my DAW um, audio interface. We got the core audio, so I'm using SSL2+. Plus. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's start. And... Okay, so this is actually initializing and um, getting ready to load. So I'm just going to show you guys 
what this software looks like. Some of you may have seen it. Some may, some of you may have not. And here it is. And I'll show you what this bad baby does. It sounds really great. Um, I need to actually start mixing more on it uh, than usual. Uh, it re it's really great. Uh, you can't go wrong. There's two versions. There's the Mixbus 32C. That's the um, actual 32C console from Harrison. And then there's Mixbus, the first one that they came out, the first debut um, app that they came out, which looks similar like this. It's just it doesn't have the full EQs, but I'll sh go through it as it loads up. It's just trying to pretty much <laughs> load up all the um, plugins and stuff. So while that's doing that, let's go through some other stuff. This is the other version I was telling you about, uh, Mixbus 5. I haven't upgraded to the latest one, which is, I think, um, it's Mixbus 7. And also, it's Mixbus 7, um, 32C. Then I will probably eventually uh, upgrade. That's just, this here is just Pro Tools first. I use that every now and then and use small stuff. But I use mostly Cubase, which is Cubase 11. I also use right here Reason 11. And I use another um, plugin called Trillion, the bass Trillion by uh, Spectrosoft. Um, but this is the one that makes Keyscape. And um, I think, I forgot the other one. It starts with an old um, Omnisphere. Yeah, Omnisphere. Uh, this is the core gadget LE version. Sometimes I'll make tracks off this which I use this mostly on my iPad so I don't really use the desktop version as much I don't really too much dev in the studio when it was just a test trial so I don't really use that much I use my machine too sometimes I use that uh, in, in conjunction with the um, MIDI controller okay that's the wave that's my wave NX it's trying to access that arc arc is another plugin that I use when I want to do my room correction or you know um, sample and EQ my room out with the with the acoustics included so yeah arc 3 I spoke about this a lot in the other videos so I use this as a, this as well um, these are from Achuria um, little make I never really used them I may get in I may start using these. It depends on what I want to use it for. But I don't really do much um, dubstep and EDM that much. But I, I used to do a lot of it. But I, maybe I need to start back using it and doing it. This is another Mini V2. Uh, let's open up and see if it'll open up. A Moog um, plug-in that I uh, use very often, especially with basses and things of that nature. So this is made by Artur as well. All right, we don't need this no more, so we can go ahead and click out of this. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch, see what we got here. That's massive from this is massive from um, Native Instruments. I tend to use this as well. Um, this is the older version, but um, I still use. I haven't upgraded to the new massive. Uh, maybe I'll eventually upgrade with it. Um, upgrade to it soon I don't know yet I don't really need to stay in here so let's quit out of that okay and quit out of that okay and so it's gonna keep asking me that until I go through it all and then we have um, Lurson's Mastering Console this is by IK Media very 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 cool um, uh, mastering um to master your tracks with I sometimes use this for my two track stems and I throw it inside of this bad baby or sometimes I may use this in the, as a mixing plug-in like I might want to throw it on the drums to really you know push those drums and glue them drums together it really works well so you know there's no limitation on wicking you don't necessarily have to use this for mastering you can use it in the mix on a drum bus instrument bus whatever you have that ability to do that. Hold on a second. Let's password in. And again, it asked me a hundred million things. That's all right. Okay, so yeah, this is really cool. 
Um, this, again, this is made by IK Media, uh, Lurson's Mastering Console. Okay, so we can go ahead and click uh, this. Let's see what else we can get going. Um, contact file. I'm still on contact file. I haven't <laughs> upgraded to contact. I think it's at 13 now, so I'm still using that. But when, whenever, there's no rush. Sometimes I use, I still use my sample tank three. And this is another one that's made by um, IK Multimedia. Still a really cool plugin. They do have four. I haven't upgraded to four yet, but I didn't just, I didn't really see the need to really upgrade. If I don't use it that much, I won't upgrade to it, but I'll start dipping back into that because it does have some different sounds to it. Um, obviously, that's GarageBand. Everybody knows about GarageBand. Um, my UVI workstation, I use that. That's another software um, set that I use, and uh, pretty much that's it with a lot of the software that's on the docking station, but I can go to my app locations and you can see some more things that we probably didn't see on the docking station due to it being big. So yeah, and checking that out. Um, I don't really see much. I use the RMX stylus, which is this right here. Sometimes you get some of the, um, well, it's probably not gonna play. I'm gonna save files up. Yeah, but this bad baby right here. I use this sometimes. You know, if I wanna get some old school um, drum beats or whatever, or hits, I'll sometimes use that. Uh, let's go back, applications. Let's see. And I'm trying to see if I see anything that's different than I had showed you guys. Um. I think that's it as far as a lot of the applications. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the virtual instruments are within the application, so I can't really pull those up. I have a lot of those. It's just pretty much so virtual synths, um, EQs and plugins and all that thing. We already know about all that stuff. That's the normal, so we don't need to go through all that. But I just wanted to show a little bit of what I have in my DAW and what I use in my DAW. So yeah, hope that is pretty cool. I think I lost the mix bus thing here. Let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, yes, I know it's a version seven. Uh, desktop open. I don't know if it'll do it again. We'll see if it doesn't work. I uh, wouldn't have to probably do some resetting in there, but maybe next time if it doesn't pop up. But yeah, like I said, you can um, Google this, go on their website. Here, here we go, and you can see. So I like this bad baby. I like the, the GUI, awesome. Um, go to the mix. Uh, if it show it, shows it to me, let's see. Okay, I gotta set that one up when I work with the control surface. Anyway, let's view the mixer so I can show you guys the mixer. That's, so this is the editor. I want to see the mixer. Well, this is the mixer. I, I don't have really um, any audio um, waves um, events going on so that's probably why we don't see a lot of that but this is what the channel strip looks like um as you can see um uh, it has it looks similar to the mix bus but i want to show you guys the actual mixer why is it not letting me see the mixer I have it on there. Uh, I don't need to see no mixer list. But anyway, let me see if I, what happens if I add an audio track or. No, I, I don't want to open a template. I just want to open up a 
audio track. Here we go, add track. Uh, just a regular, not a bus, but audio. Add, let's see. Okay, so here it is. See, if you look at the channel strip here, that's what the channel strip looks like. So this is what the channel, <clears throat> this is what the mix part looks like. The EQs, um, the 32C EQ, you can get this from the UAD, the, UAD, the actual, you can get this plug in from the UAD. UAD actually makes a copy of this actual EQ, EQ2 as well. Um, but on all your channels, you're getting this EQ on all your channels. And then you're getting the, um, the mix bus where they have the groups where they have their like little tape saturation sounds that's already um, embedded inside the mixer. So this is where they route to and they give you like eight of them. I think you can get, tw I think you can go up to 12, if I'm not mistaken. And then it has the usual panning and the compression comps that's already built in there. So it's, it's very great. They give you a lot of things that's in there, trying to emulate the actual console and what it actually does give you all the tools and parameters that you need so that is mixed bus um you guys want to try that out go look it up and um check out the demo and see if you like it or not okay go ahead and get out of here so that's pretty much what i do in my daw um things that I work out in my DAW. I have a lot more other stuff, but I don't think it's necessary to go through all that. I'm pretty sure you get the picture right. All right, so I'm going ahead and end this little studio tour, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, or dislike, or check the notification bell, and to receive or to get be notified on new materials that I'm putting out. So got a lot of other materials that I'm putting out. And definitely want you guys to dev in and, and come check it out and see if this is something beneficial for you. And I hope you guys have a good day. God bless you. God bless each and every one of you guys. And take care. And the weekend is approaching. It's Friday. Shabbat, get ready to come in. So uh, Shabbat Shalom to all my uh, Shabbat keeping people. And have a good day.